فَيَقُولُ بَعْضُ النَّاسِ لِبَعْضُ So people, some of them will say to others, فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِآدَمْ Go run to Adam, our, our dad. Because maybe, because he's the first one Allah created, Allah loves him so much. And he didn't even create him for earth, he made him in Jannah. Let's go to him. فَيَأْتُونَ آدَمْ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ So they'll come to Adam alayhi salam. فَيَقُولُونَ أَنْتَ أَبُوا الْبَشَرِ They'll say to him, You are the father of all humanity. خَلَقَكَ اللَّهُ بِيَدِهِ Allah made you with his own hand. وَنَفَخَ فِيكَ مِنْ رُوحِهِ And he blew into him of, your, of, of his ruh. وَأَمَرَ الْمَلَائِكَ فَسَجَدُوا لَكَ and he, and he commanded the angels and they all bowed down because of you. إِشْفَعْ لَنَا إِلَى رَبِّكَ Could you please speak to Allah for us? You're, you're our dad, just put in a good word. أَلَا تَرَى إِلَى مَا نَحْنُ فِيهِ Don't you see what kind of trouble we're in? Don't you see where we're headed? The sun keeps getting closer and closer. أَلَا تَرَى إِلَى مَا قَدْ بَلَغَنَا Don't you see what's already reached us? فَيَقُولُ آدَمْ Adam alayhi salam speaks, إِنَّ رَبِّي قَدْ غَضِبَ الْيَوْمْ غَضَبًا My master today, he's already angry today, like in, in a way, لَمْ يَغْضَبْ قَبْلَهُ In a way that he's never been before. مِثْلَهُ Nothing like it. Allah has never been angry like this day ever before. وَلَنْ يَغْضَبْ بَعْدَهُ مِثْلَهُ And He will never ever after this be angry like this ever again. وَإِنَّهُ قَدْ نَهَانِي عَنِ الشَّجَرَةِ فَعَصَيْتُهُ He had told me a long time ago to stay away from the tree. And I disobeyed Him. نَفْسِي 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 All I can think of is myself, myself, myself. اِذْهَبُوا إِلَى غَيْرِي Go somewhere else. Don't talk to me. Don't tell me to speak to Allah. I don't care about you. I only care about who right now? Myself. I, I'm in trouble for the tree. Myself. 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 You hear me? Go talk to somebody else. إذهبوا إلى نوح. Go to Nuh. فَيَأْتُونَ نُوحًا So they'll go to Nuh alayhi salam. فَيَقُولُونَ يَا نوح. They're going to speak to Nuh and say, Nuh, إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ أَوَّلُ الرُّسُلِ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِ الْأَرْضِ You are the first of the great messengers spent, sent to the people of the earth. وَقَدْ سَمَّاكَ اللَّهُ عَبْدًا شَكُورًا And Allah called you an extremely grateful servant. Allah praised you in the Qur'an. إِشْفَعْ لَنَا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ Could you please speak to our master for you? You know, speak to him. Speak to your master for us. أَلَا تَرَىٰ إِلَىٰ مَا نَحْنُ فِيهِ Don't you see the situation we're in? فَيَقُولُ إِنَّ رَبِّي عَزَّ وَجَلْ قَدْ غَضِبَ الْيَوْمِ He says, my master today, I tell you, there's no doubt, he is angry today with a kind of anger, لَمْ يَغْضَبْ قَبْلَهُ مِثْلَهُ وَلَنْ يَغْضَبَ بَعْدَهُ مِثْلَهُ That he's never been like this, this angry before, and he will never be this angry ever after. وَإِنَّهُ قَدْ كَانَتْ لِي دَعْوَةٌ دَعْوَتُهَا عَلَىٰ قَوْمِ 950 years I preached this one time I prayed against my people. Couldn't take it anymore. إِنَّهُمْ You know, Allah says, you know, Allah says uh, in Surah Nuh, He describes about them. You know, uh, don't leave anyone on this earth. None of the disbelievers. إِنَّكَ <inaudible> إِنْتَذَرْهُمْ If you were to leave them, if you spare them, they will, they will actually disobey you. You know, وَلَنْ يَلِدُوا إِلَّا فَاجِرًا كَفَّارًا you know, يُضِلُّوا عِبَادَكْ وَلَنْ يَلِدُوا إِلَّا فَاجِرًا كَفَّارًا they will, they will misguide your slaves. And they will not give birth to anyone except who's disbelieving themselves. And a sinner themselves. These people have no hope. I've seen many generations of them come up. They're hopeless. Ya Allah, don't spare any of them. Yeah, I remember that one time I made that one dua against my nation. I need to stop here because like Nuh salam is terrified that he prayed against the people that made fun of him for 950 years, who made fun of Allah, who disbelieved. These are the worst. إِنَّهُمْ كَانُوا هُمْ أَظْلَمَ وَأَطْغَى Nuh salam's nation, Allah makes a list of nations that were bad. And then when he gets to Nuh's nation, he says, they were the ultimate bad ones. Like, like ain't nobody bad like them. That's what he says in the Quran. And Nuh salam prayed against them how many times? Once. And he's horrified. What do Muslims do today about nations we don't like? In Taraweeh? You pray against nation. Ya Allah, destroy these, destroy those. You know, like Dammir Amrika Asqit Ta'iratihim. Destroy America, down their planes. I've heard these in prayers. I'm like, do you not know what Nuh salam said? You think any anybody today is worse than the nation of Nuh salam? He's worried he made dua against them how many times? Once. Watch it. Don't make dua against nations. 
make dua for relief. Make dua for justice. Make dua that Allah gives, you know, brings Muslims peace. But not like what we've done is. It's so far from our deen. Then he says, nafsi, 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 ya, myself, 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 I don't care about anybody else. Idhabu ila ghayri, go somewhere, go talk to somebody else. Idhabu ila Ibrahim. Go to Ibrahim alayhi salam. Fayatuna Ibrahim. So they come to Ibrahim. Humanity comes to Ibrahim. Ya, the sun is getting closer. Please help. So they go to Ibrahim alayhi salam. Fayakuluna, ya Ibrahim, anta nabiyullah. Ibrahim, you, you are the Prophet of God. By the way, when you read this hadith, they go to Adam, they go to Nuh, they go to Ibrahim. You think they're like standing next to each other? They're like, oh, move on to next stall. Move on to next stall. Next, please. You think that's what's happening? How many people are standing? The entire sea of humanity is standing together. All of them. When there's a couple of hundred people, I have to find one person. Is that easy? Humanity is searching. And they find Ibrahim. They, ser- they find Nuh. And he says, no, you need to go find Ibrahim. Then they're desperately looking, where is Ibrahim, where is Ibrahim? And is anybody going to even speak? <laughs> this is bef- by the way, this is before the no speaking starts. This is the first desperation. And so they're, everybody's in chaos and they're looking for Ibrahim alayhi salam. And they find him, anta nabiyullah, you are the Prophet of God, wa khaliluhu and his dear friend. Min ahlil ard, from among the people of the earth, Allah called you his friend. Ishfa' lana ila rabbika, ala tara ila ma nahnu fihi. Make a case for us. Speak on our behalf to your master. Don't you see the situation we're in? فَيَقُولُ لَهُمْ إِنَّ رَبِّي قَدْ غَضِبَ الْيَوْمِ غَضَبًا لَمْ يَغْضَبْ قَبْلَهُ مِثْلَهُ My master today has a kind of anger that he's never shown before. وَلَنْ يَغْضَبَ بَعْدَهُ مِثْلَهُ And he's never going to show this kind of anger ever again. وَإِنِّي قَدْ كُنْتُ كَذَبْتُ ثَلَاثَ كَذِبَاتِ I lied three times. To make a point, even though this was Allah, Allah you know, prescribing to him that he should do this, he feels bad. He said about the sun, this must be God. The moon, this must be God. The star, this must be God. And he was doing it to demonstrate the stupidity of shirk. But he says, but I still said it, didn't I? I can't stand in front of Allah. I can't, I can't go to speak on anybody else's behalf. Nafsi, nafsi, nafsi. I'm not even going to translate that anymore. Basically, that's the most powerful way of saying, I don't care. Go somewhere else. Idhabu ila ghayri. Idhabu ila Musa. Go somewhere else. Go to who? Musa alayhi salam. Fayatuna Musa, fayakulun ya Musa, anta Rasulullah, faddalaka Allahu bi risalatihi, wa bi kalamihi, ala nas. Musa, you are the messenger of Allah. Allah gave you such a great preference by His message, the Torah to you. And He spoke to you directly over all other people. He chose to speak to, speak to you. Kallam Allahu Musa taklima. Ishfa' lana ila rabbika, la tara ila manahnu fi. Make a case, please. Don't you see what the situation we're in? Same exact answer. Inna Rabbi qad ghadib al yawm ghadaban lam yaghdab qablahu mithlahu wa lan yaghdab ba'dahu mithlahu. My master is angry today like he's never been and like he will never be. Wa inni qad qataltu nafsan lam umar bi qatliha. And I have previously killed someone I wasn't allowed to. Nafsi, nafsi, nafsi. Remember when you punch someone? Don't bother me. It's all about me right now. Idhabu ila ghayri, idhabu ila Isa ibn Maryam. Go away. Go, go to Isa, the son of Maryam. Jesus, the son of Mary. فَيَأْتُونَ Isa. They come to Isa. فَيَقُولُونَ يَا Isa أَنْتَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ وَكَلِمَتُهُ Isa, you are the messenger of Allah and you are His word. Allah calls Isa salam, His word. وَكَلِمَةٌ مِّنْهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَى مَرْيَمْ The word that Allah had given to, dropped onto Maryam. وَرُوحٌ مِّنْهُ And you are a spirit from Allah. وَكَلَّمْتَ النَّاسَ فِي الْمَهْدِ صَبِيًا You spoke to people even as a baby. إِشْفَعْ لَنَا إِلَى رَبِّكْ You, please, make a case to, uh, to our master for our, on our behalf. أَلَا تَرَى إِلَى مَا نَحْنُ فِيهِ Don't you see what, I've been, what situation we're in? فَيَقُولُ عِيسَى إِنَّ رَبِّي قَدْ غَضِبَ الْيَوْمِ غَضَبًا لَمْ يَغْضَبْ قَبْلَهُ مِثْلَهُ قَطْ وَلَنْ يَغْضَبَ بَعْدَهُ مِثْلَهُ Same answer. Allah is angry today like He's never been and like He will never be. وَلَمْ يَذْكُرْ ذَنْبًا It'll be interesting. He didn't mention any sin. Everybody else said, نفسي 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 after admitting a sin. Isa a.s. didn't mention any sin. But it's really cool. That Isa a.s. didn't mention any sin. Isa a.s. The, the thing that scares him the most, what scares him the most, is not what happened on the earth. What scares him the most is what's going to happen on the Day of Judgment. Because so many people will think that who's going to speak? Isa will speak. 
And Allah is angry at those who falsely thought Isa will, is his son who speaks on that day. He doesn't want to touch that. He, just, he doesn't even bring up anything else. He just says, nafsi, nafsi, nafsi. I'm just worried about myself. I'm not worried about any of you. It's myself, myself, myself. Idhabu ila ghayri, idhabu ila Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Go somewhere else. Go to Muhammad. Fayatuna Muhammadan. They come to Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Muhammad, anta Rasulullah wa khatimul anbiya. You, Muhammad, are the Messenger of Allah, the seal of all the Prophets, the conclusion of all the Prophets. وَقَدْ غَفَرَ اللَّهُ لَكَ مَا تَقَدَّمَ مِن ذَنْبِكَ وَمَا تَأَخَّرَ And Allah has forgiven all of any mistake you even would have made, what happened before, what came after. إِشْفَعْ لَنَا إِلَىٰ رَبِّكَ أَلَىٰ تَرَىٰ إِلَىٰ مَا نَحْنُ فِيهِ Could you please intercede on our behalf? Don't you see the situation we're in? فَأَنْتَلِقُوا فَآتِي تَحْتَ الْعَرْشِ I will march forward and I will come right under the Arsh of Allah. The grand throne of Allah. فَأَقَعُوا سَاجِدًا لِرَبِّي عَزَّ وَجَلْ And I will fall into sajda before my master, the owner of all glory and the owner of all authority. ثُمَّ يَفْتَحُ اللَّهُ عَلَيَّ مِنْ مَحَامِدِهِ وَحُسْنِ الثَّنَاءِ عَلَيْهِ شَيْئًا Then Allah will open up to me. In other words, Allah will inspire me with a way of praising Him and a, a beautiful way of describing Him that has never been given to anybody before. Allah will give him new revelation that day. A way of praising him that has never been revealed ever before. Lam yaftahu ala ahadin qabli. It has never been opened up. That secret has never been opened up to anyone other than me before. Thumma yuqal, Ya Muhammad, irfa' ra'sak. Then it will be said, Muhammad, raise your head. Sal, tu'ta. Ask, you'll be given. Ask and you will be given. Washfa' tushfa. And you make a case, and your case will be accepted. You plead on people's behalf, and I'll accept your plea. فَأَرْفَعُ رَأْسِي I will raise my head. فَأَقُولُ أُمَّتِي يَا رَبْ أُمَّتِي يَا رَبْ أُمَّتِي يَا رَبْ Three times. My people, Ya Rabb. My people. My people. My Ummah. My Ummah. My Ummah. What were the three repeated words of all the Prophets? Nafsi. 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 Our Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. أُمَّتِي يَا رَبْ أُمَّتِي يَا رَبْ Ummati. فَيُقَالْ يَا مُحَمَّدْ أَدْخِلْ مِنْ أُمَّتِكَ مَنْ لَا حِسَابَ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ الْبَابِ الْأَيْمَنْ مِنَ أَبْوَابِ الْجَنَّةِ Muhammad, you allow the pass for the entry of you, from among your nation, those who have no hisab on them, no accounting on them, from the most right door of the doors of Jannah. وَهُمْ شُرَكَاءُ النَّاسِ فِي مَا سِوَى ذَلِكَ مِنَ الْأَبْوَابِ and they will participate, they will become one with the people who are from other doors, meaning the farthest door, the last door of Jannah, even those I'll let you, I'll let your people in, from your people. فَقَالْ وَالَّذِي نَفْسِ بِيَدِهِ إِنَّمَا بَيْنَ الْمِصْرَعِينَ مِنْ مَصَارِعِ الْجَنَّةِ كَمَا بَيْنَ مَكَّةِ وَحَمِيرِ أَوْ كَمَا بَيْنَ مَكَّةِ وَبُصْرَةِ And he says, one door to the next is like this distance of like two different cities, Mecca and, and uh, you know, uh, Basi, uh, Hamir or Busra. But there's another narration I want to share with you along the same lines that's longer. And that completes the story. Because the way Allah speaks to the Prophet Rabbik. People will come, they'll come to Adam and say, please speak on our behalf. Lastu laha, he will say, I'm not qualified for it. I wasn't made for that. I'll translate it this way. I wasn't made for that. Walakin alaykum bi Ibrahim. Go to Ibrahim. Fa'innahu khalilu rahman. He's the friend of our Rahman. Fayatuna Ibrahim fayakul lastu laha. He'll say, Ibrahim will say, What? I'm not made for that. That's not for me. عَلَيْكُمْ بِمُوسَى فَإِنَّهُ كَلِيمُ اللَّهِ فَيَأْتُونَ مُوسَى فَيَقُولْ لَسْتُ لَهَا Then he'll go to Musa, this, the one who speaks to Allah, Musa will say, I'm not, that's not for me. I'm not for that role. I'm not fit for that role. وَلَكِنْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِعِيسَى فَإِنَّهُ رُوحُ اللَّهِ وَكَلِيمَتُهُ They go to Isa, what does he say? لَسْتُ لَهَا I'm not made for that role. وَلَكِنْ عَلَيْكُمْ بِمُحَمَّدْ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وسلم فَيَأْتُونَنِي So they'll say, go to Muhammad, so they'll come to me. Judgment day will come and they'll come to me. Ana laha, I will say. I'm made for that. I am for that role. فَأَسْتَأْذِنُ عَلَىٰ رَبِّي فَيُؤْذَنُ لِي I will go seek permission to speak before my master and permission will be granted to me. وَيُلْهِمُنِي مَحَامِدًا أَحْمَدُهُ بِهَا لَا تَحْبُرُنِي الْآنِ And he will inspire me with a way of praising him that does not come to me now. It's not something for me now, it will only be for me. Then, فَأَحْمَدُهُ بِتِلْكَ الْمَحَامِدِ Then I will praise him with the words that he's given me. وَأَخِرُّ لَهُ سَاجِدٍ I will fall before him in sajda, in prostration. فَيُقَالْ يَا مُحَمَّدْ إِرْفَعْ رَأْسَكَ 
It'll be said, Muhammad, raise your head. وَقُلْ يُسْمَعْ لَكْ Speak, you will be heard. وَسَلْ تُعْطَى Ask, you'll be given. وَشْفَعْ تُشْفَعْ Make a case for your people. Make, make intercession. Intercede. And your intercession shall be granted. فَأَقُولْ يَا رَبْ أُمَّتِي أُمَّتِي He says, my master, my people, my people. فَيُقَالْ انطلق. Go ahead. فَأَخْرِجْ مِنْهَا مَنْ كَانَ فِي قَلْبِهِ مِثْقَالَ شَعِيرَةٍ مِنْ إِمَان مِنْ إِمَانٍ Allah says to him, go ahead, pull out from the Day of Judgment. Sun is getting closer, remember? Pull out from these people. Whoever had even a, like a hair split, like a fine hair worth of any faith. They had this much iman, let them come. Let them come. Talk about weak iman. Your iman is like a hair. That's just let him go. And so he says, Ya Muhammad. And so when he does that, فَأَنْتَلِقُوا فَأَفْعَلُ So I'm gonna go forward and do that. ثُمَّ أَعُودْ Then I'll come back to Allah. Rasul Sallallahu does this, and he comes back to Allah. فَأَحْمَدُهُ بِتِلْكَ الْمَحَامِدِ And I'll start praising him with that praise that he taught me. ثُمَّ أَخِرُّ لَهُ سَاجِدًا And I'll fall into sajda before Allah again. فَيُقَالْ يَا مُحَمَّدْ يَرْفَعْ رَأْسَكْ Muhammad, raise your head. قُلْ يُسْمَعْ لَكْ Speak. You'll be listened to. Sal tu'ta, ask, you'll be given. Washfa tushfa, make a case. Okay, I'll accept your case. Make a case. Fa'kul ya rab ummati ummati. Master, my, my people, my people. He already said this, didn't he? Allah already gave him, didn't he? He's not done. He comes back, he asks again. In taliq, fa'akhrij minha man kana fi kalbihi mithkala dharratin, aw khardalatin min imanin. Go. Find anybody who has the amount of one grain of sand or the, the piece that falls off of a seed of faith. Khardala, not even a seed, a seed scraping. That little bit. If you find that much iman in anybody, let them come. فَأَنْطَلِقُ فَأَفْعَلْ I will do that and I'll move forward and do that. ثُمَّ أَعُودْ I'll come back to Allah. فَأَحْمَدُهُ بِتِلْكَ الْمَحَامِدِ I will praise him with those praises again. ثُمَّ أَخِرُّ لَهُ سَاجِدًا I will fall into sajda before him again. فَيُقَالْ يَا مُحَمَّدْ إِرْفَعْ رَأْسَكَ Muhammad, raise your head. قُلْ يُسْمَعْ لَكْ Speak, you'll be listened to. وَسَلْ تُعْطَى Ask, you'll be given. وَشْفَعْ تُشْفَعْ Ask on, make a case, plead. Your plead will be heard. Your plead will be heard. فَأَقُولْ يَا رَبْ أُمَّتِي أُمَّتِي he says again, my people, my people. فَيَقُولِ انطلق. Go ahead. فَأَخْرِجْ مَنْ كَانَ فِي قَلْبِهِ أَدْنَى 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 مِثْقَالَ حَبَّةِ خَرْدَلٍ مِنْ إِيمَانٍ Go forward and find the smallest piece of the smallest piece of the smallest piece of a grain of sand. Not the sand. The grain of the grain of the grain, or the scraping of the scraping of the scraping of any faith, any faith, not al iman, iman, any faith at all. فَأُخْرِجُهُ مِنَ النَّارِ I'll get him out of the fire. فَأَنْطَلِقُ فَأَفْعَلُ فَلَمَّا خَرَجْنَا مِنْ عِنْدَ عِنْدِ أَنَسْ The Sahaba who wanted to hear this hadith were not. There were people who never met the Prophet, and they came to Anas ibn Malik to ask this hadith. And when they came to him, he told them this hadith. They couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe Allah will be that merciful on Judgment Day. And they just couldn't believe their ears, so they, when they were done with Anas, and they'd never heard anything like this, قُلْتُ لِبَعْدِ أَصْحَابِنَا لَوْ مَرَرْنَا بِالْحَسَنِ وَهُوَ مُتَوَارٍ فِي مَنْزِلِ أَبِي خَلِيفَةً So he says, I don't, we should go to Hassan. We should get a second opinion, because this is really wild. We should need to, we need to verify this. فَحَدَّثَنَا فَحَدَّثْنَاهُ بِمَا حَدَّثَنَا أَنَسِ uh, so so hadathana, we, we spoke to him, we narrated what Anas told us. فَأَتَيْنَاهُ فَسَلَّمْنَا عَلَيْهِ So we came to him, we said salam to him. فَأَذِنَ لَنَا He gave us permission to sit down. فَقُلْنَا لَهُ يَا أَبَا سَعِيد جِئْنَاكَ مِنْ عِنْدِي أَخِيكَ أَنَسِ بْنِ مَالِكَ Abu Sa'id, we came to you from your brother Anas ibn Malik. فَلَمْ نَرَى مِثْلَ مَا حَدَّثَنَا فِي الشَّفَاعَةِ We've never ever experienced anything like the thing he just told us about shafa'a. مَنْ الَّذِي فَحَدَّثَنَا So he says, hey, فَحَدِّثْنَا بِالْحَدِيثِ أو حَدَّثَنَا بِالْحَدِيثِ فَانْتَهَا إِلَى هَذَا الْمَوْضِعِ So he told us this hadith, but he stopped here. 
stopped where? The least of the least of the least of a scraping of a seed of a grain of sand of Iman. That's where he stopped. فَقَالْ Hey, Aha. لَمْ يَزِدْ لَنَا عَلَى هَذَا He didn't tell us anymore. فَقَالْ لَقَدْ حَدَّثَنِي وَهُوَ جَمِيعًا He told me that hadith too, but he told me the whole thing. مُنْذُ عِشْرِينَ سَنَةً That's been 20 years ago. فَلَا أَدْرِي أَنَسِيَا أَمْ كَرِيهَا أَن تَتَّكِلُوا So he told me, that, Anas told me the same hadith 20 years ago, and it was the whole version. You didn't get the full version, guys. And I'm not sure if he forgot to tell you or he was afraid to tell you because you might become too lazy if you hear the rest. <laughs> so then he's like, قُلْنَا يَا بَسَعِيد فَحَدِّثْنَا Could you just tell us? Could you just tell us? فَضَحِكْ So he started laughing. وَقَالْ خُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ عَجُولًا Human beings were made to rush into things. مَا ذَكَرْتُهُ إِلَّا وَأَنَا أُرِيدُ أَنْ أُحَدِّثَكُمْ I didn't even mention this thing that I know the whole thing except I wanted to tell you guys. I'm just messing with you. That's why I said I know the whole thing. I wasn't going to keep it from you. حَدَّثَنِي كَمَا حَدَّثَكُمْ بِهِ He told me exactly what he told you. وَقَالْ ثُمَّ أَعُودُ الرَّابِعَةَ But then he added, I will come back a fourth time. Rasulullah says, I will come back a fourth time. In that hadith, how many times he came back? Three times. This is the fourth time. فَأَحْمَدُهُ بِتِلْكَ الْمَحَامِدِ I will praise him with those praises. ثُمَّ أَخِرُّ لَهُ سَاجِدًا I will fall into sajda before him. فَيُقَالُ يَا مُحَمَّدِ ارْفَعْ رَأْسَكَ وَقُلْ يُسْمَعْ لَكَ وَسَلْ تُعْطَهْ وَشْفَعْ تُشْفَعْ And Muhammad will be told, Muhammad, raise your head, صلى الله عليه وسلم, and speak, you will be heard. Ask, you will be given. And, and make a case, and the case will be accepted. Make the intercession, and intercession will be accepted. فَأَقُولْ يَا رَبِّ إِذَنْ لِي فِي مَنْ قَالَ لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا اللَّهِ This time he doesn't say ummati ummati. He says, Ya Allah, just can you give me permission about the case of anyone who said la ilaha illallah. Not anyone who believed la ilaha illallah, anyone who said la ilaha illallah. فَيَقُولْ Allah will say, وَعِزَّتِي وَجَلَالِي وَكِبْرِيَائِي وَعَظَمَتِي I swear by my authority, my grandeur, my greatness, my awesomeness, لَأُخْرِجَنَّ مِنْهَا بَنْ قَالَ لَا إِلَهَا إِلَّا اللَّهِ I will absolutely, I swear to it, pull out of it, pull out of what? Mm. By this time, there are already people in hell. Before, pull them, pull them, pull them. This time, pull them from it. Pull them from it, you know. Whoever said La ilaha illallah. Whoever just said it. This hadith is not supposed to make you say, Chalo, iti the chutti hui. I said La ilaha illallah. Khair, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Whew. Going to heaven. <laughs> Eventually. Two things I want to share with you. Rasulullah's shafa'ah, there's two of them. Rasulullah, when he speaks on Judgment Day, there are two of them. One of them is in Hadith. The other one is in Quran. The one I shared with you is from where? From Hadith. What's the other one? It's in Quran. What is it? Ya Rabb, inna qawmi attakhadu hadha al-Qur'an mahjura. Master, this nation of mine abandoned the Quran. They took the Quran and they left it abandoned. On the one hand, we find the Rasul of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam speaking on behalf of the Ummah. On the other hand, you find Allah, the Messenger speaking on behalf of those who abandoned his Qur'an. They abandoned his Qur'an. And I, this is my own opinion, you don't have to agree with it. There's a reconciliation between these two. In this hadith, we learn about people who had little to no faith. Little to no iman. And of course, Iman is directly related to action. So you can imagine if the Iman is nowhere, where the action is going to be. You can imagine. The language of that ayah though, اِتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَحْجُورًا Not هَاجَرُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآن They abandoned this Qur'an. They migrated away from this Qur'an. No, they took this Qur'an as something to be abandoned. The literal language is, they took this Qur'an as something to be abandoned. In other words, they did take it. And then they disregarded it. There are people who are brought up today in not religious families. Muslims, but not religious families. They don't, they don't pray, they don't learn much about Islam, you know. 
then there are people who actually learn the religion. They learn it. They learn the Book of Allah. They study it. And after studying it, they don't care for it. After learning it, they don't live by it. Those are a special brand of anger from Allah. People who learn his deen and then abandon it. People who took the book and then dropped its seriousness, didn't give it its rights. That's a brand of criminal. There's the neglectful, whose iman was weak, non-existent. But there's another brand of criminal that looks religious. It lo they look like they're people of Qur'an. But they've abandoned Qur'an. That's the one that Allah's Messenger does not speak for. He speaks against. And there's a reason. There's a reason why those people should be spoken against. Because those people, they are seen as the carriers of Qur'an. So when they don't live by the Qur'an, and their characters become ugly, and their examples become horrifying, then they turn a huge generation of people away from the Qur'an, ever even getting a chance. They'll look at those people and say, well, <laughs> these are people of Qur'an, look at how they act. Why should I even bother with this book? Look at what it produces. This is what it produces? I want nothing to do with it. Oh.